Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today, bringing you a video on a game called Reassembly. Now, this game is very, very interesting, let's just say that much. It's a game that the concept instantly appealed to me, and I thought, holy shit, this is going to be awesome. And I got into it, I um, I started playing, and I thought, okay, maybe I'm in over my head here, it's a bit complicated. Um, but now, I like after playing for an hour, working out how systems work, it is bloody awesome. Now, as you can see here, this is my little battleship that I am playing with for now. But let's um, let's go back a little bit and show you what it's like at the beginning of the game. So, you start with a well, in fact, you start with a normal design like this. This is a just default design, a, a normal ship that you can use to do whatever you need to do. But I will I will start a ship from scratch. There is a ship creator like this, and you start with your command module. That's just how you control your ship. But then everything else you put on your ship is up to you. Now this um, this is very much like the gummy ship creation from Kingdom Hearts, which was one of my favourite, I'm going to call it a mini game, it was one of my favourite mini games in any game ever because it was just straight up awesome. It allowed for so much creativity and you could just really do whatever you wanted with it. So um, how should I do this? I do, um, alright let's get a little platform at the back. So I'm, I'm jumping into this really quickly, it's incredible, but this game is like that. So let's um, get a platform at the back that I can stick a couple of thrusters on. In fact, no, those are a bit too big. They'll make my ship go too fast. So let's get small thrusters at each edge. And then let's get like, um, let's get, if I can mirror that actually, so flip it around, then I can get two of these if I make them a little bigger. And then copy that and flip it around, then mirror it again. And then stick one on the other side because symmetry is very important. But in fact, I can't stick one on the other side because that's too far back. So there we go. And then, um, what I can do is stick larger thrusters there for directional steering. And then, um, I just to show you what this will actually do, I will finish creating the ship by just creating a large platform out here. And then, um, you know what, why don't I get some missile launchers just stuck on the side, uh, like that. Then another one there, then another one there, then another one there, then another one there. And I'll stick both, I'll do the same on both, oopsie, that's, um, that was an accident, let's stick that. And then copy all these and post them on the other side too. And now I've made a little... Oh, damn it, that was that was a mistake. Let's rotate... Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> okay, let's um, do this manually instead. Stick that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there, and that one there. Then just to protect all of them so they don't get destroyed instantly, I'm going to place some like barriers at the front. So um, let's just do that. And then this ship, I'll get some containers so I can hold resources and put them between the missile launchers. This ship is probably going to be a disaster. It will probably be terrible and it probably won't steer at all and on the offensive side of things it will be terrible but let's call it the um, the missile spelt wrong to be cool. And then let's save that ship and that will now be my ship. But because I'm kind of in a, a hostile area right now, I'm going to teleport back to one of my areas. One of my areas which I don't actually seem to have many of, because I've been neglecting my faction, and I've... Okay, let's just go... Wait, can I even... No, I can't, um... I can't actually do that, but now I destroyed my ship, it will reassemble, and now I am flying the missile launcher, and if I right-click, it will send out a, f a swarm of missiles. I am going to fly far, far away, so I can get out of this hostile sector and back into one of my... Oh damn it, my ship's being destroyed. Basically, if your ship does get destroyed, as long as the com command module is fine, it will just rebuild itself, hence for reassemble. But there are so there's so much shit going on right now that it keeps being destroyed and I keep losing my thrusters. But um as you can see, I just created a ship within seconds, and this is unique, it's nothing like my other ships, but it's awesome. But it, it does kind of need refining because I've only got like four thrusters and they're all at the back. So as far as steering goes, it's pretty shit. <laughs> And I'm just like flying with another enemy sector hitting into asteroids. This is terrible. I um I really need a different ship. So instead of using a missile launcher, I'll swap I'll swap to one of my older ones. These are all my ships, and these are all the like blueprints that were made. They are awesome ones, like the mini freight. I'll show you that. The mini freight again. It will just destroy, and it will reassemble all its little pieces. This is just like a little carrier that you can fly around. The steering is much better on this one. But it's mainly good for collecting resources as it has a lot of containers. It is very good at manoeuvring though, which I, I do really like. And then, um, oh, once I'm in a safe area, I'll reassemble and show you one of my ships. Um, this ship was called the Rubik's Cube, which I liked. It was just like a square design with lots of different miss missile launchers that can stay in different directions. So you'll see it assembling here. 
and um, once the thrusters are there I'll actually be able to move and there we go then I can just right click and it sends out a huge swarm of missiles the Rubik's Cube was one of my favorite ships um, to begin with but then it, it it had its problems it got destroyed too easily because everything is just like there's very little hull and um, I'll show you a bit of combat there's an enemy faction ship which is just a standard fighter and it's actually flying off so um, let's leave him alone and let's say if I go into a purple sector Basically, the objective of the game, I'll mention this, is um, you start as one faction. I am the sort of um, the darkish golden yellow, and there are loads of other factions. And your primary objective, I guess, is galaxy domination. You need to take over nodes, which will spawn the ships that you've created, and then gradually take over areas. There are also wormholes, which you can go to to go to different maps, or send over your ships to different universes. And there's agents, which are like um, little fleets that other players have created, and they're just flying around, and you can destroy them for um, to unlock loads of different things and other things such as that. So there's a station fighter, who, damn it, he's going to fly away. Let's see if I can get to a hostile sector and show you a bit of combat. Combat can be really hectic, especially if you're within a hostile sector. But if I go into command mode, there you can see that's a corvette. That's um, one of the friendly ships I have available, and he's just going to be out destroying things, trying to take over the galaxy for me. Um, so if I launch missiles, they will fly towards this ship and hopefully fuck it up. But this is a very agile one, so he's going to be able to avoid the missiles. I'm going to chase after him and see if I can't destroy him. And then I'll show you what destroying ships actually does for you. He is a bloody tricky one to chase up to. Damn it, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him. He got away too quickly. So instead I'll go to a node that's being contested, which is this one, and see if there's any problems going on here. But it does look as though there's a fight going on in this direction, the arrows are pointing me to. Um, is that actually, okay, yep, those are neutral ships, which um, they may be neutral, but they're creating problems in my territory, so I'm going to destroy them. And what they'll do is they'll drop purple resources, known as, um, one second, I do need to double check what that is actually called. It is called, doo -doo -doo, um, yeah, it's just raw resources. And you can farm these off plants or destroy ships to get them. And then that's stored in your ship with the little containers. And then with raw resources, you can take them to any of your spawners for credits. Credits which you can use to buy new parts. Or you can use to um, basically upgrade your ships and increase their capacity. And then P is, again, your ship capacity. Like, that ship is 650p, which means it costs 650 resources to um, spawn if I have a factory, which I'll go into later. Or, um, basically if I start from scratch again, you can see I have a maximum of 1200p, and that's to stop me creating an overpowered ship that can just destroy everything. Like, that started at around 300p, and then with credits I gradually increased the threshold so I can create more, bigger and better ships. So, um, instead of using Rubik's Cube, I'll show you another, I'll, I'll show you an experimental ship of mine. This was the Railgun. As soon as I unlocked the Railgun weapon, I created a ship based entirely on railguns, and I tried to respawn in a hostile sector. That was a bad idea, because now I'm just getting destroyed before I can even build myself. Oh god, that's a... Okay, they're neutral. I will slowly rebuild, but railguns are pretty, um... They take quite a while to reconstruct. Once I've got my thrusters, which are on the outside, on, then I will be able to fly around a little bit. And yeah, my railgun ship works with, um... With really powerful long-range shots. But it doesn't really have the energy to stay, sustain um, constant fire. I will go within my little factory here, so I've got a shield around me. But as you can see, this factory is under attack by a fellow faction. And this faction is the plant faction, which I absolutely hate. Because they just have loads of plants which like um, build up around asteroids. And this ship... The, once, the problem with this ship is all the thrusters are on the outside. So as soon as you get hit once, the thrusters are destroyed. And then you just start falling apart and you can't fly anywhere. But the plant faction, they just spawn plants on their little asteroids and they're really annoying. They're like the bloody pests of this game. And they have actual fighter ships like that with lasers, which are really, really frustrating. But I got destroyed, which means I'll respawn at another factory. So, basically the objective of the game is you can go around and capture the, the blue diamonds, which will give you a factory which will spawn your ships. What you can also do, say if you're finding it too hard to catch a factory, that was just destroyed. You can create a ship with a, um, oh, I'll quickly get the flak machine out for you. You can create a ship with a factory, and what this factory does is it will spawn ships for you. So now that this ship is active, I will quickly replace those, and um, say I'll put a probe in that slot for now. 
So this will build my flak machine. The flak machine is one of my favourite ships so far. Not only does it have a factory, but it has loads of flak cannons, and it has shield generators, and it has decent control. So factories being generated there, then more flak cannons are generated on the side, with generators to power them, and it's got decent thrusters too. I'd say the worst thing about this ship is the mobility, it's pretty hard. So what I need to do right now, there's my shield generators coming online, I need to go and destroy a few ships, then I'll show you what the factory does and what it's good for, because the factory is one of the most powerful uh, tools in this game, but the problem is like most people don't use it properly or well enough, because if you can get a factory ship to spawn another factory ship, then you just have, like, you've completed the game, because you just, um, you just, oh shit, what's going on? I think I flew in an, into an asteroid which got stuck in my shield. Alright, I need that to rebuild, but my flat cannons will automatically fire at anything nearby, which will defend me well enough, but I need to stop the rest of the ship being destroyed. If I, um, if I get enough re raw resources, then I can show you what the factory actually does. But again, I need to destroy a ship or two. The flat cannon is really powerful, but inaccurate, and it has to be used at short range. And again, mobility is pretty shit. Like, I'm trying to not fly into this station here, but it's not going too well. Alright, so if I collect a few more raw resources, let's attack this guy. If I get a little bit closer. Come on, can I... Oh my god, it's so hard to steer. Alright, let's... Oh, wait, did I... I think I killed him. Let's go and destroy this ship. Seeing as this one's a, a decent ship, I should get a lot of resources for destroying it. And... There we go. Come on, flat cannons. Do your thing. There we go. That destroyed ain't got me 16 raw resources. And can I attack that stinger too? In fact, I might be able to do it now because I, I only put a small ship in the slot. What I can do is press F and then that will spawn a, a ship which will fight for me. There's the little probe that I put in there and now he's going to go off and collect resources and fight things which will, it, it obviously contributes to my fleet. And what I can do, as I said, is I could put like bigger ships in here. I could spawn another flak machine if I put that there, but that will cost a lot of resources to spawn. As you can see, I need 1,200. And then w once I've spawned that, it will spawn um, it will spawn even more flak machines on its own, which will just like exponentially increase my fleet and um, help me contribute in taking over the galaxy. So I hope I've shown you like what the game is like and what the objective is like, and obviously you can see the appeal in it. The amount of ship customization there is to it is just incredible. The combat can be really awesome and high octane and everything, but um, as long as you know what you're doing. Like, here is the plant faction which has start started attacking me and it's trying to take over my factory. So I'm going to fly in. I've got shields which should fight off the attacks and my flat cannons will shoot down their missiles. But as long as I fly within cover here, it should start attacking them. But the flat cannons are pretty weak. That's their downside, and again, inaccurate. But I'm collecting a lot of resources here, I'm destroying the plants gradually. You need to attack them at their root, which is the frustrating thing. And then if I fly around, I can get rid of this big plant here, which um, should destroy this little asteroid. And then I just, I gradually need to destroy all the plants around my station, and then that station will become usable again. And it will start spawning ships, and it will be fine. And I can respawn there, and things such as that. As you can see, the flat cannon's really powerful because it's got great defensive ability, it's got great offensive ability, and the only downside is movement. And I'm just absolutely destroying everything, I don't even have to aim, that's the best thing about it. Because aiming can be pretty difficult. So, oh, that, that bloody ship is pissing me off. I, I'm tempted to spawn a fighter to just go and destroy it, but... It's, um, oh god, my mobility, it just flew me right into the station. Alright, what I will do is use this opportunity to show you um, another one of my ships. The fighter, or the high wind... I can't remember the fighter, I did this one a while ago, so let's try and spawn this. And... Uh, oh no, it's spawning outside the shield. Oh come on, get inside! Get inside, get inside the shield. There we go, thrusters are online, but not enough. Come on, come on, come on, there we go. Okay, alright, let's turn. And this one's got a bit of everything, which I like. It's got great mobility. It's got, um, it's got plasma cannons like that, as well as a railgun or two on the side. The only problem is it's easily destroyed, and shit, they've take, they're taken over that node, they managed to destroy, okay good, the shield is still intact. But you can just see the amount, the variety of different ships you can create is awesome. And you can get ones with lasers, you can get ones with missiles, you can get ones that deploy mines. It's um, it's very faster than lightish in terms of the combat and the weapons and everything. Obviously it's not term, or it's not, um, it's more real time and action than faster than light is, but in terms of resource management and having to create your ship and allocate power and weapons, it reminds me of faster than light. With the ship creation 
from Kingdom Hearts in the Gummy Ship Creator. This is another faction. These guys use shields very often, and shields are very hard to penetrate. Uh, but he is absolutely wrecking me by the looks of it. And I don't think I'll be able to destroy him because he, he keeps using his bloody lasers. I'm going to have to retreat. Can I retreat? Oh, no, I'm just getting destroyed. Bloody hell. This is, um, I, I think I'm too close to the center. Uh, the general rule is it's more difficult in the center of the map. But what I'll do is I'll show you my high wind, which is my general all round ship with an actual shield. And um, then I'll end this video because this game, I'm just loving it so much. It's one of those games where you just kind of like, oh, I just want to build one more ship. Or I want to try one more thing. Or I'm going to take over one more diamond. And it, it works on that kind of basis. It's just really fun. Like when the shield generator comes online, I'll try and fly into the purple sector and see if I can't do some combat. Ah, oh, so this one is basically a refined fighter from what I remember. It's got a decent amount of weapons, it's got a shield, and it's got good mobility too. And I think I bumped up the defenses on this too. The main problem with any non-auto weapons is they're pretty hard to fire, unless they're missiles as well. But yeah, I just got destroyed too easily. These ships are way out of my league. So I need to upgrade my ships and actually get a fleet going, and then I will be able to play better. Also, what I can do as just a final feature is I can go into command mode, and then I can recruit ships, and once I do this, they're going to fly around with me. So in fact, I will try and go into the purple sector again, now that I've got a few allies on my side. And I'll see if I can um, see if I can do a bit more damage to them. So I'll fly into the purple area. Oh, it looks like they're coming to me. And let's fly towards him and try and destroy this ship. Basically, if I'm attacking a ship, any ships in my fleet will also try and destroy it. They'll focus on that as their target. So let's go over here. And aha! A worthy adversary. There we go, absolutely destroyed him. That wasn't thanks to my that wasn't thanks to my allies, so that was just thanks to good accuracy on my part. Let's see if I can. Damn it, just missed, and just missed again. But I think my other ships will clean him up. And what about this guy? Yay! I'm actually doing a decent job now. I don't know where the other ships in my fleet. Have, oh god, I don't know where the other ships in my fleet have gone. I think they might have. Yes, I destroyed him. That got me a lot of raw resources. I'm actually doing decent right now, but I'm getting swarmed. And yeah, those two laser guys were just fucking me up. But. That is um that is reassembly. It is a awesome game on Steam. I'll have a link to the Oh my god, I'm under attack. I'll have a link to the store page in the description below. And um pick it up if you're interested in it. If you want to see more videos on it, do let me know. Also, just out of curiosity, let me know what kind of ships you would make. I'll show you a list of all the different things you can get. There's like um lasers, proton beams, proton swords, mine uh mine layers, torpedo launchers, rocket launchers, mortars, burst lasers, all those things, and obviously all the things I already have unlocked. Let me know what kind of ships you would create and um, how you would go as about completing this game. Until then, this has been me, Evans with Z11. Please rating if you enjoyed this video, and this is me out.